This is KLFY News 10 at 6. We begin today in Vermilion Parish where Sheriff Mike Cuvion says since January of last year, there have been over 200 juvenile cases. He says these cases vary through homicides, school bomb threats, burglaries, and more. In our top story, News 10's Rodrika Taylor spoke with the sheriff who says juvenile crime has been an issue for many parishes and they are trying to get a handle on it. Sheriff Mike Cuvion says something needs to be done about juvenile crime and the house arrest and ankle bracelet are not working. Proving his point, he referenced to the recent shooting where a 16 year old boy is accused of killing 19 year old Dylan Michael Walker. Now this 16 year old had an ankle bracelet where he left his home and he went and he killed somebody. It's not working. That's just like when somebody gets a sentence of house arrest when they were dealing drugs out of their house. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The sheriff says there's a major problem with juvenile crime. We had over 200 juvenile cases which run from homicide, armed robbery, sex charges, burglaries, thefts, home invasions, terrorizing, bomb threats at school where we have to lock down the schools and send the SWAT team over to clear for what could be something. He says there is a major need for a juvenile detention center. He adds it costs over $200 a day for a juvenile to be held in jail. Letting people out early to save money is not a way to stop crime. A child needs to see what's going to happen to him if he does commit a crime. Sheriff Cuvion suggests speeches from inmates serving life sentences in Angola could influence minors to make different choices. Kids have to see that it's not the future for them. He adds, parents need to be parents. The adults know that the juveniles doesn't have the same standards of sentences. So they encourage the juveniles to do the crimes while they sit back and reap the benefits. The sheriff says another way to reduce juvenile crime is to see what can be changed within legislation. In Vermilion Parish, Rodrika Taylor, KLFY News 10.